Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this lecture, I'm gonna teach you how to create a pickups uh, for bridges. Okay, this is uh, I I am trying to create a pickup here in, in these uh, points. Uh, these points uh, have been already uh, created. Uh, this bridge. Uh, the beams in the bridge is curved and the elevation changed along the length. So uh, I will try to create a P cap from here to here and also the P cap width should be 1.5 meter. So how, how can I uh, how can I get the exact two points from the ends of the on the P cap? I mean the point starting point to the ending point. As you as you know, uh, the elevation of this beam is change is changing along the length. So getting the exact point of the starting and the ending uh, of the peak cap is not easy. So uh, the purpose of this video is exactly for this. I will try to teach you how to get the exact points along this beam. Okay, so as I said before, the the width of the peak cap, I mean uh, here like this, that this width is uh, 1.8 meter here, and here is 1.5 meter. Uh, the, the width of the peak cap here is also should be 1.5 meter. So how can I get the exact points? Uh, the point from here to here is uh, a point uh, uh, 75 and here also. So I'm trying to, uh, uh, I will use uh, to, I'll, Try to find the, the plane, the exact plane of this point. For that, uh, I'll go to view, a new view on plane. So uh, when I select the planes, these planes are changing along the beam. So I will try to find, uh, to find the exact plane of the, of the starting point. Okay, I, I use, I use uh, what plane? I'll try one of the, one of the planes. Uh, this is plane one, and this is plane two, and and the plane other plane. Uh, I think it is it should be it should be plane two. I will try. Okay. Uh, okay. So I have uh, used the work plane uh, to to find the the plane of starting point. Okay. Select the point in the right click, copy special linear along the along the Y here. I as I said, it should be. Uh, 0 0.75 meter 715 okay click copy oh sorry this is uh, a long x this should be a long y okay so this point is here again i'll check yes exactly the the the, the point is in in this plane okay so i will use uh New view on plane. Click here. Okay, this is the point. It's the point. This is a, sorry the, the 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 middle point, and the starting point is here. As you see, it should be it should be in the middle of the beam. So I'll try to use uh, copy special linear in y direction. In y direction. I don't know exactly what the exact position, but I, I, I try to uh, one millimeter move until I get the exact middle point. Yeah, I think it's, it's the middle. Okay. So let's check the distance from here to here. Yes, it is at 0.1 millimeter. It's not, it doesn't uh, matter. Okay, so this is the starting point and ending point. As uh, I will try the, the 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 previous method. So let's find the plane. I think the plane should be one. I will try this plane or this plane. Okay. Again, select the points. Copy spatial linear. Uh, this time in Y, and again, click copy. Okay, let's check. Okay, it doesn't matter. It is in this plane, near to this plane. 
uh, click it new view on plane this plane as you see the point is here it's very close to the close to the minimum, but I, I'll try to get the exact position in the y in the y direction uh, one millimeter move okay this is the exact exact location so I will try to find the the distance from here to here yes it's 1.5 meter okay so get back to the 3d view and uh, let's try to back to the global x and y okay this is the starting point and the ending point of the pika okay i'm using the, i'm using autocad to to create the the pickup uh, cross section it should be in millimeter let's check this is in millimeter and uh, it should not be uh, a poly uh, polyline if you if you create with polyline um, before uh, before saving it you should uh, explode it i mean every single line should be unique not a, in a in a polyline okay uh, i saved it in p5 in the name of p5 uh, go to file menu catalog define profiles here i define uh, using dwg file go to parametric and select the dwg file here is p p file okay and the section name uh, profile name uh, it doesn't matter what you write here and profile attribute uh, i'll try to use uh, other okay and click apply and let's try to create let's test it from here to here yes this is my pickup okay click ok let's remove it Retrow. okay so go to concrete concrete beam uh, this is pcap 5 and go to others and here okay sometimes you should write the name okay p5 from here to here here we go okay uh this uh, this is a peep this is a bearing pad the middle of this bearing pad should be exactly on the middle point okay for that i'll try to use a construction line this is a line zero from this midpoint to this midpoint okay select all move spatial linear from this middle point to that mid Yeah. Oh. So, as you see, the 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 P cap should should go from this point to this point, not here. So that our P cap should be should be rotated from here to here. Okay. How can I find the angle of the rotation? For that, I'm using a construction line. Let this uh elongate this construction line um from each side by two meters okay and uh, use a construction another construction line to find the midpoint from this midpoint to this midpoint okay change the color to red okay so this is the the rotation actually the rotation of this peak the rotation angle from this line to this line i should rotate from here to here okay for that i'm going to view new view on plane plane on i i use this plane this is the correct plane okay i cannot see the the other line for that i will change the view depth 
use two meters. Okay, so now I can see the, the other line. Sure, this, this speed cap should be rotated from here to here. Okay, so uh, I'm using the angle meter. Go to edit angle. This is a uh, origin. And from this line, from this line to this line. So the angle is uh, 13. Okay. Click the peak cap on the line also. Right click, move, and rotate. Pick the origin. This is my origin. It should be rotated about this point. I, I, I don't want to change this point. This point, the origin should be rotated like this. Counterclockwise. Okay. The degree is 13.47. Click move. Here we go. This is exactly. And now you see the lines are fitting each other. Okay, this is the exact the exact position of uh, the peak cap. Okay, let's back, get back to the 3D. Sorry. As you see, everything is correct. And I think there's a clash here. Maybe let's... It's a clash here. So for that, you should uh, you should uh, enlarge the P cap. Here you should change from AutoCAD. This I think here is uh, you should enlarge here uh, and uh, recreate from start. This is the best technique for getting the exact locations of the P cap and the rotation of the P cap. Okay, guys, this is the end of this video. Uh, I hope uh, to see you soon.